Welcome to Tiger Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to make a PHP email form uh, sender device where somebody can specify their email name and message, much like this example here. Uh, it can be like a self-automated, so when someone signs up to your site, it'll send an email off to you. Uh, just like a general email sender. So let's dive into the code here. Open up uh, Dreamweaver. You can uh, use Notepad. Uh, we're going to use our standard PHP tags here. And I'm going to do this as if we were actually making it right now. I have some notes on the side, um, but form method it's going to be nothing. Action post. Actually, wait, no, action is nothing. Then method is post. Sorry about that. Close that off. Those are form tags off, and this is just uh, HTML, so you could possibly skip ahead if you already are uh, familiar with this. Uh, but that's just like the downside to things here. So input type equals text name uh, email. You can uh, modify these names here. That's just how uh, when you submit something, it can identify it. So you use that post variable, and you put inside the quotations what you want to uh, retrieve. Uh, it's going to be that name. So make sure you remember that or reference it. Type text uh, name equals email, and name equals name. And that's going to be the name of the person that's uh, submitting this. I actually don't think I use the name of the person in the actual email, so I should switch that around. But we will get to that later. Uh, we're going to make this a text area, so it's like a, a wide input field. It's not just like a little uh, box there. And then we're going to make the uh, name message row 5. We're going to put 5 rows in there. Uh, columns. 45 and we're going to close that off close off the text area tag if you want to put a uh, text inside the text area tag throw in some text right in here if you want to put in um, HTML in there then do the uh, LT for less than sign and GT for greater than sign you just put in regular uh, caret symbols then that will throw off the uh, HTML code into believing that you have something embedded in it, which it is not. So we're going to put a BR there just for uh, purposes. Actually, I'm missing a BR up here. A break. Put the input here. Input type equals submit. Name submit. make the value email, you can make anything you want. And then uh, I think my email host actually puts an access key in there, but if you cannot do that, just like type an access key, enter, and then uh, do that right there. So now we have our basic uh, form set up here. Now we're going to actually retrieve what's submitted, so we're going to make a email retrieve. We're going to retrieve the email, so we're going to get the uh, post variable for email which corresponds to this right here and we're going to come down here to name equals post name and we're going to get the message post message in here and uh, for security purposes, I don't want people to just freely uh, be able to submit anything they want. So I want to escape their uh, quotations. So just an example of that is um, actually me escaping them right here. And by doing that, it makes it so that that code can't execute when it uh, puts it on the page. It just recognizes it as just... Uh, text so that you can do whatever you want to with so you can prevent like cross-site scripting and 
things like that. And it gives you an opportunity to uh, mo modify their text. So, let's say plus name message. Oh, and then what I'm doing right now is actually stripping the slashes from uh, from here using the get magic quotes GPC method and that's actually a boolean value defined and it's turned on by the server and you want to check and see if it is or not uh, I'm not sure if it's absolutely crucial to do this I always just uh, do strip slashes uh, no matter what so I don't know I guess it's like a formatting thing so you can do whatever you want to do with it I'm sure there's a reason why people do that uh, and the, me the message there and then no matter what I do I'm going to do a mysql real escape string email and I'm just going to copy and paste so we can speed this up alright name And of course, I can't speed this up because I have typing issues. All right, so now I'm going to put uh, non-posted vars up here. So non-posted variables, and that is going to be the subject. And since it's going to be sending it to me, actually it's going to be sending it to the person. So this is where we can incorporate the name. So like make a false company here. So like ABC Incorporated. And then we can use their name. It is cool. There we go. User. Alright, so now it makes sense. Now we're going to uh, specify a reply to email or a reply email. So we're going to make that just some false uh, company here. Example.com. And now here comes the actual uh, submitting part. So we're going to see if the uh, submit variable here type submit name submit we're gonna see if that's truly submitted and if it is we're gonna process the uh, posted information but if this is not submitted then this posted information will just remain zero and it will just sit in dead space so not the most efficient thing I would believe but uh, just for like a simple uh, email thing this will work and you also have to keep in mind that you have your uh, SMTP servers up so you have to make sure you can actually email stuff uh, before you can use this, the, the mail method, which we're going to be using in a second. So, and you don't have to worry about that if you have your own private uh, email provider. I mean, your your own private uh, hosting provider, because most likely they have it all worked out. But if you're running your own servers, then you will need to figure that out. So this is going to be a uh, warning message. So you must enter an email to okay so we're telling they must enter an email to send a message to um, close out that paragraph tag put an else statement here and I didn't use brackets above so you don't need to worry about the brackets. If we're gonna do the same exact thing we did up here. But this time we're gonna be using the uh, name variable and we're gonna be using the same exact error message except for the fact that we're going to enter a name to send the message to and now we're going to do an else statement down here just try to keep this aligned so it's easier to visualize 
looks like we are coming off the screen here. So let me see if I can get. Yeah, there we go. All right, get rid of this unnecessary space. All right, so now we have this else statement. We're gonna do our last and final check. Let's see if the string length of the message is either less than, if it's less than or equal to zero, then it's going to display an error message like up here. So let me uh, put that error message in there. No, I didn't save the uh, paste from the last time. Let me just uh, copy and paste this up here. Control V. And you must enter a message. Alright, so now that we are done with this, we have our final else statement here. And within here, uh, we have to specify headers because every email that was sent has headers corresponding to it, just like in uh, HTTP, and actually, yeah, HTTP. There's like a 200 response code, there's like location, uh, there's like different variables you can set, like meta, meta tags and stuff. You can uh, modify the headers, same with email. Uh, we have the same issues to deal with. So we are going to set the from variable to reply email. Um, or and this is just a matter of formatting the the actual headers that we're sending across. So, and then we are going to make a reply to. And this is just bugging me right here. Actually, drop down a thing here. Reply to, and we're going to make that. For some reason, this whole thing isn't uh, recognizing the. Uh, let's just keep this over here. Yeah. All right. So I think it'll it'll still work here. Reply email. dash slash r n like that I have a feeling that this right here is not formatted properly but I am doing a tutorial right now so that's the last thing I need to figure out alright xmailer php and we're going to do the php version a PHP version. That's actually a method, so let me just copy and paste from my notes because I think we have a unexpected issue. So, and these, I'll just post these headers below in the uh, description. So we just have a reply email here, reply to email, so it's like um, if you want to reply to this email, it'll reply to this specified email here. Uh, I'm not sure what this does. Uh, but this is where I found the uh, mail, the function and recommended I do this xmailer. Uh, but I can look into that. Uh, the mime type, uh, it just specifies um, what content we're going to have in here. So I think this is for like images. Uh, then we have our text and HTML variables here. Just saying that the email is going to consist of uh, text and HTML set to this uh, char set ISO which you don't have to worry about. And now we're going to actually do the uh, mail mail uh, function here. So we're going to actually put the email, the subject, corresponding to the, these variables up there. Message and, last but not least, the header, the headers. So that's all taken care of. P style color green and this will be our confirmation message email sent
close off that paragraph tag there. And we have our echo done. Do some formatting. And it looks like we have our s stuff set up here. Alright, so let's uh, go to testing. So we can control shift U. Yes. It's writing it. Go to our website here. Reload the page. Have our email box here. So I'm going to type in my email, which I'm going to block out, because I'm not sure what could happen to that. Oh, looks like we uh, reloaded the page here. Let's reload the page. Exactly sure uh, what's happening here. So, all right, so now I think my internet is back. So let me just uh, put it in. So yeah, you're not gonna see my email. So I'll just type in this false name, false message, some random stuff. Hit email. Once you hit that email, it's gonna post those variables up. Then the PHP is gonna retrieve those variables. And then it's going to do. Uh, it's going to execute all the commands that we set with the variables, and at the very end of the day, we are going to get an email in our inbox. And the problem with my uh, hosting is that they don't have very fast uh, email responses, so I'd be waiting here a minute or two. Uh, but that, that's definitely something you can uh, determine when you're uh, looking for a host is uh, possibly getting a faster uh, email server or making your own email server all right so it looks like we actually got our email in here about a minute maybe two minutes later uh, so we see or have our subject here our dynamically defined uh, user name and uh, the the actual from part that we had here. So we had from admin at example.com as so we specified right here. So I think Google actually parses the uh, at, at example.com just makes it admin. So we actually click on the email here. You can see our message actually shows up properly. Uh, hit uh, show details. We have uh, some of the other stuff here. Uh, this right here cannot change your hosting account uh, that that's de actually it, it depends on if you have your if you pay for your own uh, hosting account so I tried sorting this out but unsuccessfully so anyways please go to tigertutorials.com please subscribe uh, thank you for watching Tiger Tutorials I'm going to be making a uh, series on actually how to make a content management system so that should be uh, exciting anyways thank you bye